Hi, I'm Rick Foster. Welcome back to Rick Uncorked 365. Well, I hope you're enjoying my YouTube channel where I taste a different wine or champagne each day for 365 days throughout 2020. Now, today we have a unique Chardonnay. I was researching some female winemakers and I came across the Cambria Estate Winery. Now, the Cambria Estate Winery is a winery that was started by a husband and wife back in the 1970s in the Santa Barbara area of the Santa Maria Mountains. Now, now today, the winery is run by the two daughters, the Jacksons' um, daughters, and this is by Catherine Jackson. This is uh, named for her. It's called Catherine Chardonnay. The winery is run by the two daughters, the mother, and a female winemaker. Now, what is unique is they have 1,400 acres and they let each, like five or six acres, they allot to different, you know, uh, wines, different growths. This is 34 blocks of grapes is all that this wine comes from. And this is a combination of old Chardonnay vines mixed with some hybrids or with some newer Chardonnay clones. It's 100% oak aged. It's aged in French oak barrels. Now, the Santa Barbara region where this is um, grown is known for being a very cold climate area of California. It's very close to the coast as opposed to Napa or Sonoma. And it has more of a shelf type uh, topography. So it is um, got a little bit of the sandstone, the limestone, um, as well as some shale, some of the um, prehistoric or petrified uh, seashells. So it makes the ground very granular and it's very, very shallow. So the, the grapevines don't have to dig too far into the soil to absorb the water. What makes it nice is it gives it a very nice natural runoff for the, um, you know, for the water and the irrigation. What that does is it allows the grapes to absorb as much as the water as they can. So because all that water going into those roots, the roots are like a sponge and they're able to pull that water straight up to the vines and into the grapes. So these grapes tend to be a lot more fruit forward, a lot richer, sometimes a little sweeter, but being that it's in a 100% oak barrel, it's probably toned down. I'm expecting to have a lot of tones of fruit mixed with some of the oak barreling notes. Well, let me give it a try and tell you what I think. It's a very nice oak Chardonnay um, smell, aroma. Well, that is a traditional standard French oak a barrel um, fermented Chardonnay. I have a lot of that oak in there. So I have that Chardonnay. I have a high acidic, which is kind of toned down. So, but I do taste that fruit forward acidic from the grape. So I'm getting the uh, some tones of green apple. I'm getting some notes of peach, a little bit of floral in that. Not much on a, on a citrus level, but kind of like um, I would describe as a citrus uh, blossom. So I'm getting some of that blossom um, taste, a little, which gives me a little hint of citrus. I'm getting some green apple. I'm getting um, white peach notes, but I'm getting hit with that, that standard traditional Chardonnay, which is indicative of that oak barrel aging. It's not bad. This bottle sells for around $17 a bottle. I think on their website, it's $22. I paid somewhere around $16 for this bottle at Ralph's grocery store. Let me give it another try and tell you what I think is it's opened up a little bit. Yeah, after, after a minute of that breathing, it's kind of opened up a little bit. A little bit of that acidic has, has neutralized the alcohol has, has 
you know, neutralized as well. So I'm able to taste a little bit more of that fruit. I'm getting almost a hint of pineapple, but again, the green apple mixed with the oak um, barrel. I can't tell if that oak barrel has been toasted or not. I have a feeling it's probably been slightly toasted. Get, but I don't have a really um, heavy caramel or vanilla uh, note to that. It's, it's just very much a very clean, um, simple oak flavoring. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this segment. I look forward to seeing you on our next segments where we'll be tasting some more white wines. Cheers.